Good morning. <clears throat> I'm back to the illusion of money again. So um digressed yesterday with my little stories. And isn't it wonderful how when you go down the train of thought, then you get some information the next day that puts you back on track again. And you can choose to take it or ignore it. And I had a very clear message as soon as like, oh, what should I do? And as soon as I opened this book and I read something and I went, okay. Yes, I've got that. I've got that. So here's um, I'm going to share with you. So on a scale of one to ten, with one meaning you're completely owned and stressed out by money, and ten meaning you're completely free from all the attachment to money and are accessing a true sense of inner abundance in each moment. How much do you feel you're currently attached to and controlled by money? Really give yourself an honest assessment so that you can understand where you are right now. This isn't about judging yourself or feeling bad about having an attachment to money. This is bringing awareness to a way of being that almost all of us has unconsciously been trained into. Without judgment or regret, see if you can find these areas you might not have noticed where you allow yourself or your emotions to be controlled by money. Even if you feel like you're not attached to money or don't think about money that much, think about the subtle ways that money influence your emotions. Ask yourself how you feel when you lose money, like when you get a parking ticket or lose a client or a job. How do you feel when you receive money, like getting a raise or unexpected bonus? If either of those types of experience have created any type of emotional response for you in the past, then take in that you might have a level of attachment to money. Don't we just, don't we just, oh look, you know, so rather than being feeling good all the time and go, you know, knowing that we're abundant all the time, we're like, I remember whenever it was, um, I had in a, in a corporate job and you have like payday and like you lived for payday and then you would be rich for two weeks and a pauper for the next two weeks, you know, payday's good, isn't it? But imagine if you had payday every day. I mean, you can have payday every day, but just imagine feeling like every day was payday. How would you feel? Can you do that? Can you wake up and just go today's payday and get those feelings? What are those feelings when you have payday? And when you get that, yeah, you just got paid. What's those feelings? Now, nothing's changed on the outside, has it? You created all that inside yourself. What else are you creating inside yourself? Really give your score right right now on a scale of one to 10, how much money is controlling your actions and emotions? Because if you're feeling in a certain emotion, you will act in a certain way and that affects your attitude. And your attitude is thoughts, feelings, and actions. So if you think you're broke, then you will feel lack and you will act in a way in that manner. Don't kid yourself that you can miss that step out, okay? So I had a positive attitude, but my body was coming from lack feelings. So I was constantly saying, it's okay, it's okay. But my body was feeling, oh my God, you know, I haven't got this, I haven't got enough. And then your actions will be something you will restrict and constrict your actions. So don't deny what you're feeling in your body. Yeah. We have to discover the true experience of abundance inside ourselves instead of chasing it externally in the world <clears throat> or we'll be chasing it forever. And this is an interesting thing here as well that he says, it was almost as if the more abundance I had, the more lack I could find. While I was achieving all of these things, I had dreamed of my entire life. I was making myself miserable by leaving these things were going to complete me. I'm worrying about them going away. I was so attached to the thing I was chasing that my self-worth was completely tied to it. Isn't that so true? As soon as we get something, we're afraid of losing it. Yeah, but that's the 
brilliant thing about it because what we've ex what we experience then is the law of polarity okay so not just yesterday i was talking about the law of rhythm was that yesterday no idea when i was talking about it but the law of polarity means if there's lack there's abundance if there's right there's a left because i wouldn't know what my left was if i didn't have a right you know i feel good about being me because other people don't feel good about being them there's always an opposite yeah and so if you are experiencing more abundance, you will be, there will be an awareness that there's lack because you've just literally taken yourself to another level. And then because we see that space, we think, oh my God, you know, I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall. Like we get a, maybe somebody's got a new man in their life and then you're afraid of losing him. So you act differently. You acted one way to bring him into your life. And then you act in another way to keep him. It doesn't work that way. You do the things that you did to get the things that you have in your life and you keep acting that way. Otherwise, when you constrict yourself, that's whenever you're saying to the universe, no, 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 no more, no more, and you get smaller. So, oops. What if you discovered you were actually the real source of those experiences and feelings that you were looking for externally? Those external things are just ways to give yourself permission to experience the feelings that are really inside of you. This is a huge thing to understand. For instance, if you found out that you just won the lottery a few seconds ago, you would immediately experience all of these amazing feelings of excitement and freedom and abundance. These are all being created inside of you. Once we begin to understand that we are the source of what we're looking for instead in the lack of what we're looking for, life will begin to bring us all these things. We have to start moving from those places inside of ourselves instead of chasing the things in the world that we think will bring us these feelings, these experiences. When you move from your freedom, you will create a life of freedom. When you move from your excitement, life is exciting. When you move from your joy, life becomes joyful. Nothing needs to happen outside of you for those experiences to happen inside of you. That was one thing I was speaking with one of my clients with yesterday, and it was about Okay, so we're supposed to let go of the things, but Bob says, you know, look at your goal card, you know, all day, every day. He says, well, how's that letting go? And I says, well, you know, we have cells of recognition. And so sometimes we get, get caught up in the day's problems that we forget about our C-type goal. Because if we were in our C-type goal, we wouldn't have any of these problems, would we? So when we're in our C-type goal, we can, so the idea to look at the card is to remember to come from those feelings. Yeah. So if you've got, say you won the lottery, if you want to win the lottery or whatever. Yeah. So you've got there. How would you be thinking and feeling from there? Now, the other reason as well to look at your goal card every day, all day, every day is for gratitude. I am so happy and grateful now that. I love living this life. I love spending the money that I've got. I love making other people happy. I love doing the things that I want to do. I'm so grateful for that life that you've given me. Do you see that difference? That you're giving gratitude every time you look at your goal? And to remember to come from your goal? Because if you've got problems and you're coming from here, you don't have them when you're up here. And you see the world more objectively up here. Down here, you're in subjective and you're all tied up in your emotions. But when you're up here from your goal, you're like free. You come from that place. Yeah? Do you see the difference? So you're not, ch when you're down here, you're chasing it. You think everything's fleeing away and you've got to go and grab it. But that just chases it. So when you're up here, you're grateful, you're happy, and you, you create new memories. 
thank you. So I, I remember when that happened. It was just amazing. Thank you so much. So come from that place today. Come from gratitude of all the things that you want in life. You've already got because it was the feelings you wanted in the first place, not the external thing. And remember that. So that was my call again this morning to remember that I create my feelings, nothing external. Yeah. I create my feelings and just observe the outside world and be love, joy, happiness, and peace coming from the inside. You're the one who's in control of that. Okie dokie. Have a good day. Come from your goal today. All day. See what happens.